Denzel Washington's son from Black Clansman is back at it again with Beckett. During a happy vacation in Greece with his lovely wife, Beckett dozes off while driving and fucking kills her. And in that dozed off post crash state, he sees a child. And after that, greasy Greeks greet him with great gravitas. He runs around while angry and confused, and so does the audience. Okay, so the movie's first mistake is being set in Greece. If you're gonna have a character named Beckett, you're gonna you're gonna set it in France and have characters go like, oh, oh Beckett. <laughs> I legitimately feel bad for John David Washington. No performance in the world could have saved this mess. He's a black man running around confused the whole time. Sometimes people shoot at him, and that's the whole movie. It's too much like real life. <laughs> Action thriller with little action and no thrills. The emotions you're supposed to feel while watching something like this are not conveyed properly, mostly because of poor direction. There's no paranoia, no urgency, this has all the momentum of a celibate's ball sack. And when everything is finally explained you're just like, okay? And then Beckett becomes a superhero and jumps down four stories while stabbed, shot and broken boned and then just one punches a guy. Beckett is a nothing movie, it might as well not exist. It's a nothing movie inside a nothing box in a nothing room and I'm in it and I look at it and I say nothing. I don't even know why I made this video and that's probably the same sentiment the director had about the film. And now for a new segment I like to call Review Review, where I use facts and logic to systematically refute a misguided online review. Erdem Sadikiglu says, 10 out of 10, full of action. Beckett never stops as James Bond. Fearless like Jason Bourne. Gets into action like Ethan Hunt. <laughs> Jimmy Tong from the Tuxedo. <laughs> Like and comment, share and bell, join and vote and share as well. Follow, comment, love and buy, patronize so I won't die.